Hi, Jenny. So we first met at uh, Anaheim One. Yes. And you were, you were doing research trying to learn about the sport. <laughs> and, and I think everyone will agree that you've done a great job. So Thank how has the journey been for you? You know, it's crazy to think about uh, the last 16 weeks, I guess now we can say Anaheim One, where we started and where we are today. But for me, I just have loved this sport um, so much. And I've learned so much. And I think I've gotten to know the guys. And I've really gotten to know the sport. And, at A1, I was pretty nervous, yeah. you know, wondering if I could actually catch on to this sport, and it's been a blast, and uh, I I can't believe it's almost over for this season. I don't know what I'll do without it. I know, so going back to like Anaheim 1, were people priming you with questions and trying to help you with that? You know, a li not really. I'd say most of the time I come up with all the questions. I have a producer that I'll run a few ideas by, like if I have something that I think maybe would be a questionable thing to talk about, I'll normally ask an opinion, but I come up with most of the questions on my own, and um, you know, I try to find the stories all on my own because I think the unique thing about Supercross is we have all these guys that have such a unique story and how they all got to be here and their teams and their sponsors and their work ethic and the training. So I try to find those niche ideas with, with all of them and see kind of what they're going through and that's kind of been my goal this year. Yeah. So I saw that you got to... Uh get on a bike yes a ride. So how was that oh my gosh it was a blast I think Fox maybe was worried I'd get hurt so they didn't want me to do anything too crazy we had to, I was like ready for the whoops and they said no 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 we're just gonna do a hill today but I have all the gear now so my plan is now that I'm, I'm live in California plenty of new friends from Supercross I can ask about taking me riding so we'll see yeah. there's nothing like participating in sport you're covering oh my gosh and you know, I wanted to learn. If I'm going to cover this sport and do a good job, I should understand what these guys are going through. And what I did was by no means anything like what they're doing, but it did give me that perspective of what it feels like to have a bike, a machine under you. And you know, just the control that goes into the simplest movements and the fact that they're going so fast around, you know, a track for 20 laps and whoops. And you know, everything, it's crazy. So where did you come from sport-wise? Sport-wise? Yeah, I'm assuming hockey. Yes, I grew up in Minneapolis, Minnesota. I played hockey my whole life. My dad was a professional hockey player. My brother plays in college right now. And my mom was a speed skater, so I kind of grew up skating. And I worked for Fox Sports North first before going to Fox Sports 1. I covered um, the wild and go for hockey as well. So I did a lot of hockey and stick and ball sports, um, some basketball and twins baseball in there. But when I was asked to work at Fox Sports 1, I was asked to be a news reporter and it was kind of just, we'll see where it goes. So Supercross was brand new to me, but when they asked me about it, I just dove right in and I haven't looked back. I love it. What's the most interesting thing you've learned about this? Uh, for me, the fitness level. Um, I cannot believe the shape that these guys are in. I mean, I would put them up against any professional athlete in any sport. What they go through during the week to train to get ready for Saturday night is is almost harder in some ways than what they're actually doing on Saturday. I mean, they're training constantly and they're in such good shape. I had no idea you had to be in that good of a shape in, in that good of shape to be a champion. And I think, you know, that's a big change between the 250 and the 450 bike. Just that difference of five laps, what it can make in the fitness level. Any favorites? I don't have favorites. I like you know, but truly everyone has really welcomed me and it means a lot because I think in this sport, it's it's family and it's very tight knit. So I was worried people, you know, it's hard to look, have a new person. And I had big shoes to fill with Erin Bates. She did a great job for so many years, and people really respected her. So um, for me, no favorites, but I don't know. It's nice to see those Minnesota guys do well. I guess it's fun to see. There's a few of them, so that's nice. Cool. Well, congrats on uh, making such a great transition. Thank you. Oh well, thank you. It's been a blast.